Hello everybody, welcome to Masterpiece Show. Tonight, as always, we're going to have a very, very special guest in our show. Well, it's my pleasure to introduce one of the most talented and awesome Yachi Tech students, Candy Herrera. Candy, welcome to Masterpiece Show. Hi, Prof. Mauri. Thank you, thank you very much for the invitation and good evening for all the people who are watching us uh, at this time. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Candy, for accepting this invitation. Well, before we start with this interview, we want to send a special greetings to all people who are watching this show around the world. We want to send a special greetings to all people who are watching this show in Europe, in Scotland, England, the Netherlands, Germany, Italy, and Spain. Thank you so much for being part of Masterpiece Show. We want to send a special greetings to all people who are watching this show in Japan, China, South Korea, Saudi Arabia, and Australia. Thank you so much for your kind messages and thank you so much for being part of Masterpiece Show. We want to send a special greetings to all people who are watching this show in Canada, the USA, Mexico, Trinidad and Tobago, Panama, Colombia, Brazil, Peru, Argentina, Paraguay, and of course, here in Ecuador. Thank you so much for being part of Masterpiece Show. Well, now I am going to explain to you the parts of this interview. As everybody knows, this interview is divided into several sections. The first section is called the background. Here, Candy is going to tell us about her academic background, her studies, and so on. Then we have the section called speech. Tonight, Candy is going to tell us about her experience as a Yachi Tech student and her experience as an international student at one of the most prestigious universities in the world. Next, we have some pictures, and I am going to ask Candy some questions about these pictures. After that, we will have the time to, to play some games. The first game is called The Curious Wheel. The second game is called um, Unhide the Picture. And the third game is called Let Us Know. Almost at the end, we will ask Candy the three final questions, and at the end, we will have the chance to read all the messages that people sent us to our Facebook Live chat. Remember that this uh, YouTube or on Facebook. Thank you so much to all people who are watching this show around the world, and thank you so much for um, being part of this wonderful interview. So now with this, let me show important notes about uh, our special guest. All right, and here we go. All right, there you are. Our special guest, Candy Herrera. She's a Yeche Tech student, and she has the chance to get involved in the summer research program at this prestigious university, Arizona State University in the US. All right, so tonight uh, our special guest Candy is going to tell us about uh, her experience as a Yeti Tech student and about her participation in, in this um, interesting research program. Okay, Candy, can you tell us, well, we're going to start with the first part. Can you tell us a little bit more about your academic background, please? Yeah, sure. Well, um my name, as Prof. Mauri already said, is Candy Herrera. 
I am a biology student at the Yachay Tech University. Uh, so just to, to you know a little bit about me, um, I was born in Riobamba. In fact, right. my whole family is uh, from Riobamba, but I have lived in Quito since I was uh, three years old. So I consider myself as Quiteña. <laughs> and right. I entered a school when I was five years old. The name of my school was, uh, sorry, uh, Prof. Maury, if you can show us the, the, um, the presentation that I sent you. All right. Yes, yes, yes. You are right. So, yeah. Uh, production, can you help me, please, with the presentation, the PowerPoint presentation of Candy? All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, well, uh, we're going to wait just for a minute. I think it's, okay, let me see. Production, can you help me with that? Okay. In a minute, uh, it's going to be uh, your presentation ready all right i think yeah i think that it, it is ready okay let's see okay <clears throat> i think we're expecting that okay probably yeah there it is yes there you are <laughs> so well uh, okay very good well oh something okay. happened uh, sorry i think <laughs> We need to, to share it again. Yes. <laughs> All right. I think it's ready now. OK, perfect. There you are, Candy. So, Let's go on. Well, um, I entered the school when I was uh, five years old. The name of my school it was Jim Irwin. Um, something funny about that is that uh, I lived in front of my school. In fact, I am still living in front of my primary school. But almost always, I was late for my classes. And I have a theory about that, and it is that the closer you live, the later you get to your classes. <laughs> um, yeah. And now I, well, I'm, I'm a little bit more punctual, and I like that, and I've been working on that uh, every day. Um, well, if you can go to the next slide. All right, please, let's go to our next slide, please. All right, there well, you are. I, I always um, like to play soccer and well, I also did that in the in the high school and well, uh, another thing that I want not to say is that I also have a soccer team in the university. The name of my team is Fulawante, maybe you know about it. We almost won the championship <laughs> two years ago, we almost won. Uh, and well, at the age of uh, 12 years old, my mother changed me to a, a public school. Um, something remarkable about that uh, is that I was the president of the student council. And I consider that being uh, the president of the student council was uh, one of the most beautiful experiences I have had. And because I really like to work with people, I really like to doing projects uh, and while I was the president uh, which was <laughs> in my last year of the school together with my work team we did something we did a uh, film sessions we organized the prom uh, we buried a time capsule in the courtyard of the school uh, we organized some events and I think it was really really cool to work uh, in that in that place and um, I think we did a lot of things. Well, then I entered to Yachay Tech University. If you can go to the next slide. Please. All right, please, let's go to our next slide. All right, there you are. Nice pictures. Yeah, there is my team. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I entered to Yachay Tech University and uh, that is where I have met super, super special people. Um, great friends i have learned a lot of and um, i consider yachai as my second home i love being there and um, right now that i'm away from yachai i really miss it but i hope one day we can go to yachai again i really really hope that um i think that that is all it's really really short a, a summary about me just to you know me <laughs> a little bit more all right perfect yeah but uh well now it's time to talk about your experience as a yeti tech student and also 
this experience, the, the chance that you had to 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 participate in the uh, in this interesting research program. So, well, first of all, uh, we would like to know uh, uh, from your from your experience because this is the common questions that uh, the public ask, and and they always say and they always uh, say, well. Is it difficult? Is it a very hard? Is it challenging for EHA Tech students to study and live on campus? Uh, so how difficult or how challenging is it for you, uh, Candy? Uh, sorry, it, it, I can't hear you very well. It is difficult to study at EHA Tech or it is difficult to study uh, in I don't know in United States or uh, yeah uh, yeah the question is uh, how challenging is studying at the Tech for mm -hmm. you? Yeah, it it is challenging, of course. Um, I think that the most challenging part of studying at the Tech is that you have to be responsible uh, with yourself. So mm -hmm. you have to cook, uh, you have to. Um, do the market also you have to study you have to clean and you have to be more more responsible in your life and you are learning all of that things uh, as the time uh, go on uh, and oh well also the the curriculum of the yacha tech is really hard the the professors are um, I don't want to say they are difficult, but they are uh, really, really prepared, and they want uh, that you be to prepare for the academic life or for the professional life. So, yeah, I consider that it's challenging to study at the H I T, but also it is really, really um, special to be there because you know people, you know the professors that they are from another country. Um, also, you know the professor and the quality of professionals that we have here in Ecuador, because we also have a lot of professors that are uh, from Ecuador, mm -hmm. and also from the countries uh, that are next to the Ecuador, from Colombia, from Venezuela, also for, from Peru. <laughs> we have a professor that is from Brazil. So uh, it's really interesting to be there, and it, I think that it's something that you maybe you cannot um, to to be part in a different university for example in central i, I think i, I don't want to say uh, specific names but i have friends that are from uh, another public universities and i consider that they don't have um, these kind of opportunities that we have here in Yachi. And that is something really, really uh, important, not just for our academic life, also for professional and for our personal lives. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. I completely agree with you, Candy. What you said is really, really important. Well, definitely Yachi Tech is a university uh, that um, offer a good education and well, we have a uh, um, we have something interesting in, in, in there. We have um, good professors from around the world, and also good uh, prof good Ecuadorian professors. And the most important, we have the best students from Ecuador. So that is a really really special. And yeah, the opportunity to develop your English skills as well. Uh, well, Candy is a clear example of that. And yeah, you know, English, um, well, uh, speaking another language is, is like uh, one of the advantages of every person. So uh, we consider that this is a good point of this university. So, well, that is really, really nice. Okay, so now, Candy, can you tell us a little bit more about uh, this awesome uh, this awesome experience, your participation at this research program at Arizona uh, State University? Can you tell us a little bit more about that, please? Sure, if you can go to the next slide, please. All right, there you are. <laughs> so, well, in 
2019, I guess, in the summer, I traveled to Arizona State University to do an internship in the MTBI. The MTBI is the Mathematical and Theoretical Biology Institute. And well, this is a program in which students, uh, well, they carry out a research project in the area of mathematics and biology, of course. And the year uh, that I was part of this program, we had students from different parts of the world, uh, China, Mexico, Ecuador, um, of course, the United States. And that is a really, really important um, experience that I have because I have the opportunity to contact with people from different countries. And well, the, together with my, my team, uh, we develop a mathematical model project. Basically, what we did was uh, to design a population dynamic model for green turtles. So we recollect uh, the information we did, um, bibliographic uh, study, collect um, some data and build this model that we hope to, well, we have the publication also in Bionatura uh, journal and we hope well, the objective of the, of the publication was to, in some way, to be how the TSD, which is the temperature dependence sex determination of a green turtle, can affect the population dynamic at the end. So basically, that was the the research that we did in the in in Arizona State University. But well, I loved that project. And after I decided to, uh, after well, after I did that project in Arizona State University, I decided to expand the research I did and to do my thesis project related to that also. But well, in my thesis project, in, I'm taking a little um, change in the focus because I'm focused on the, well, on a specific population of green turtles. Basically, my thesis is a compilation of the information available of the Pilonemidas, which is uh, the species of uh, Tortuga Verde, which is locally known in uh, Las Islas Galápagos, in Galápagos Islands. Um, well, I'm recollecting all, the, all this information just to have a little bit more uh, vision about how it's happening in the islands. But in addition, I'm uh, proposing a population dynamic model, a different one than the one we develop in Arizona. And in that way to help to understand how various parameters influence the population variation in the total community in the Galapagos. Well, that is basically my research <laughs> project. Wow, extremely, extremely interesting and well. We are so proud of you, IH Tech students, because you are you are very very awesome. Yeah, you are a very intelligent, uh, hardworking, and the most important, you are very very humble, and you like to share knowledge with other people, and that is something that I I really admire from you guys. And wow, we have we are very proud to 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 see that one of our IH Tech students. Uh, participate in this important research program at this prestigious university in the world, Arizona State University. Uh, how was your impression? Um, well, I don't know if, if that was the first time that you 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 travel abroad and to present your project or something like that. If, if that was the first time. How did you feel at that time? Yeah, it, it was my, my first time traveling uh, out of the country, and uh, specifically to United States, when you, where you know that the language is different, the culture is different. So it was really scared for me at the beginning, and also after. <laughs> so it was scared all the time. And I think that the most challenging part of that experience was uh, the language. Because, you know, uh, we think that 
we know English here in Ecuador, and we know a little bit, yeah, that's true, but when you travel to another country when your language is not specifically Spanish, it, it is English, <laughs> It's, it's it's difficult at the first time just to understand the other people. Because the people just uh, talked to me and I was like, what? Can you can you please say it slowly? And yeah, I think that, that part is the most difficult, but the people there is, is really, really um, good. They, they are kind and they, uh, they make me feel comfortable with them. So I really like that. Well, the food is incredible. Well, the places are incredible. Um, I really like to, to travel, to know other people, to know uh, different places. Yeah, so I really like it. It was a really good experience. Okay, perfect. Yes, so we can see that our Yachi Tech student, Candy Herrera, uh, did her best. And wow, we are very, very proud of you, Yachi Tech students. Thank you. Thank you so much, Candy, for sharing uh, that uh, nice story, that inspirational story with all of us. Yeah, and, and well, we can see that um, thanks to her perseverance, her effort, Candy had a chance to to participate uh, in, this, in this important research program at this prestigious university, Arizona State University. So you can see um, um, Candy is a clear example of perseverance. Everything is possible. Yes, a little bit difficult, but not impossible. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Candy, for sharing that with all of us. Okay, Candy, so now let's go, let's continue with our next part, okay? So now I am going to show you some uh, pictures and I okay. am going to ask you some questions, all right? So here we go. Okay, Candy, the first question is, why is this picture very, very special for you? Okay, that picture is special for me because um, they are my family. <laughs> I love that photo. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a photo from the carnival from the year before, from uh, 2020. Uh, well, in my family, we have the, the tradition of always made at carnival. We cook, we play, it is, it is really, really nice. It's a really nice experience. And as part of the tradition, three priostes, like priostes de carnaval, Mm -hmm. I don't know how to say it. Well, so, this is priostes, it's the same. <laughs> yeah, priostes. So, uh, three priostes are named, and the previous year uh, they elected me as one of the priostes. Uh, so, this year I had to organize the food and the program. However, due to the pandemic, of course, uh, we cannot meet uh, in person. So, I'm organizing a virtual program. Um, of course, it is not going to be the same, but it's, well, I hope it, it is something nice um, and that my family can enjoy it. <laughs> so that, <laughs> that's why that oh, right. uh, is really, really important for me because <laughs> it was the last carnival. <laughs> yeah, and I can see that you have a really, really nice family. By the way, we want to send a special greetings to your family, yeah? And well, they must be very proud of you because you are such a great student. Okay, perfect. Let's continue with our next question, Candy. And our next question is, what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you see <laughs> this picture? <laughs> well, it's it's also my family. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, well, it was a, a really... Um, good moment well when they took that picture uh it was if i'm not wrong when my my father ascended to uh official mm -hmm. uh, then we went to um to take dinner and it was really really good i love to be with my family especially when they are a, a special occasions like that occasion um, in that picture, 
my my brother is missing because my brother at that time was in Manchester uh, studying. He studied uh, engineering in, in petroleum. So he's missing, but now he's here. <laughs> so we're okay. happy. <laughs> great, yeah. great, great. That is a really, really nice picture. Okay, congratulations. And also congratulations to your brother. Yeah, well, Manchester, it is a really nice place to live, to study, well, and of course to visit. Okay, perfect. By the way, we want to send a special greetings to all people who watch this um, this, uh, this show in, in England, specifically in um, Manchester. We want to send a special greetings to Franco Herrera. He is studying over there. And well, he is another, well, he's a guard student who is studying over there. And he Gar likes to watch. Brother and girls. Oh, really? Wow, what yeah. a coincidence. Great, great, great. Well, I think, Candy, uh, it would be a, a good, it would be nice to, to have uh, your brother here in our program to share his experience as well. Well, yeah, well, thank you. Thank you nice. yes, that, that will be awesome. Okay, thank you. So we want to send a special greetings to all guard students who are watching this show around the world. Thank you so much for sharing your your uh, answers with all of us, Candy. Okay, Candy. So now let's continue with our next section. Now it's time to play uh the three games okay so we're going to start with the first game um a candy all right um so in this uh, this is the uh, sorry in this game you have to uh choose three numbers and i am going to give three clues the idea of this game is to um, hide and reveal the hidden picture with the clues that i am going to give you all right okay yes. I'm, so, I'm doing that. <laughs> <laughs> well so um okay. as i told you before i am going to give you uh three clues and then you will have to guess what is the hidden picture okay yeah okay so um can you choose the first number please um, five Number five, all right, there you are. So the first uh, clue is, this is this is the highest volcano in Ecuador. This is the highest volcano in Ecuador. Mm. Okay, I can, uh, no, well, can I uh, say which uh, volcano is? Or... Probably, yeah, okay, you can. Well, please don't blame me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I think it's the Chimborazo. Yes, very good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in fact, it's uh, Chimborazo. Yes, yeah, this is the highest um, volcano in Ecuador. Uh -huh. Of course, there you are. It is located close to Riobamba City. And of course, it's located in the Chimborazo province. And one of the most interesting facts is that the summit of Chimborazo is widely reported to be the farthest point on the surface from the from Earth's yeah. center. Yeah. We uh, so it's it's yeah it's it's a really incredible uh, fact. So it's uh, really really nice. Yeah. So it's the farthest point on the Earth's surface from the Earth's center given that it's, it is located along the planet's equatorial uh, bulge. So, yeah, it's, that is a very interesting um, um, fact of Chimborazo. And since uh, we know that there are many people who are watching this show around the world, we can invite you to visit Chimborazo province. That is a really, really nice place. And Riobamba City is really, really cool. So you are kindly invited to visit our country and yeah chimborazo it's a very very interesting place in ecuador all right perfect so let's continue now with our second game the second game is called <laughs> the Killer wheel all right so i am going to show you a wheel and you are going and i am going to ask you some questions all right here we go yeah, as you can see, there you are a wheel. The wheel is divided into several sections. Each section contains uh, two options. 
And I am going to ask you some questions. You can choose only one option, or maybe you can answer and you can say both, or maybe you can say neither, and you have to tell us why, all right? So here we go. Let's begin with the first question. All right, Candy, the first question is, what do you prefer, reading or writing? Well, uh, I prefer reading, actually. Uh, because I am not good uh, writing, so I really prefer reading. Also, I have some books there. Uh, when I'm, I'm bored, I just take one of the books and I just start reading. I really like, but I'm really bad writing. I don't have uh, the, the imagination, I think. So, really, for me, yeah. All right, perfect. So let's continue that's with our he, next That's why you're struggling <laughs> with my thesis. <laughs> I see you, right. Perfect. <laughs> let's continue with our next question. Okay, Candy, in your free time, what do you prefer, music or movies? Uh, movies. Movies. Yeah, I'm not a really uh, musical person. I like music, of course. And I like to dance, but I don't know a lot of about music, but I really like to see uh, movies and also series. Uh, I prefer that. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Let's continue with our next question. Okay, here we go. Okay, Candy, on your birthday, what do you prefer flowers or perfumes? Um, I think I prefer perfumes. <laughs> just because I don't like the people uh, just to cut the flowers. I prefer just to see in, in the nature. Uh, just for that, I prefer perfumes. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Let's continue with our next question. All right, here we go. Okay, Candy, what do you prefer? Which do you prefer, singing or dancing? I prefer dancing. <laughs> I, I don't like to sing because I I don't think I have the voice to sing. I like to sing when I'm I'm in the shower, for example. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I prefer dancing because singing. I I don't have I don't feel that I have the voice. Just to do All that. Right. Just with my, my friend Ellie, she is the best singer. <laughs> All right, perfect. <laughs> Let's continue with our next question. All right. All right, Candy. Which season do you prefer? Winter or summer? I think that I already said that in the last interview and it's winter. Uh, I like summer, but I don't like places where there is much warm. I mm -hmm. like to be just in, in my house. I'm a really, uh, I'm a person that prefer just to be in your couch, watching a movie, watching a uh, series with some coffee, with some chocolate. I don't know, I prefer winter. All right, perfect. Thank you. Let's continue with uh, our next question. Here we go. All right. Uh, which do you prefer, Facebook or YouTube? I think Facebook. Facebook, uh, I like. Um, Facebook because, well, because in Facebook I can see also the the history, well, the stories that people uh, upload, and also I can see videos and I can see the post. It it has um more things that YouTube I think, because I as already said I'm not a really musical person, so I go to uh, YouTube um, sometimes, but it's not uh, my thing. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah. All right. So now let's continue with our next uh, game. All right. So are you ready? Yes. All right. I think they are. All right. So let's continue. Thank you so much for your answers. Okay. Let's continue now with our last game. All right, this game is called Let Us Know. As you can see, there you are, 15 cards. Each card contains a hidden question for you. Here we are going to know a little bit more about the things that you like or you love, all right? So you are going to choose five cards in total. All right, please, Candy, choose the first card. Okay, um, the number two. Number two. All right. There we go. And the question is, what was your favorite subject at primary school? My favorite subject? Um, well, I think it was uh, the arts class because I really like to paint. I really uh, like to draw. So that was my, my favorite subject at the primary school. I, I did. Well, not in primary school, but in the high school, I did some some murals in my school. Uh, they already, uh, how should I say, they wash it, mm -hmm. but they were there sometime. So <laughs> I, I like to to paint. Ah, I also have uh, the mural that we did in the in Yachita University. You know, the bird that is in the uh -huh. in the library. Uh, I also collaborate in that. Oh, really? That is very, very interesting. I didn't know that. All right, now I know. <laughs> Great. Thank you, uh, Candy, for that surprise, because it's a really, really good painting. I didn't know that, but it's really nice to know that you were part of that wonderful painting. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, let's continue with our second card. Okay, the number 13. Number 13, all right. The question is, what's your favorite app? Uh, well, now my favorite app is the CNA app. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> no, my, favorite, my favorite app, I think, is it's WhatsApp. All just right. so I'm, I'm chatting with my, my friends and my family, just for that. Uh, there, it, will, it could be also Facebook, because I also use a lot of Facebook just to see what people post. But um, it was, it's WhatsApp, I think, yeah. All right, yes, the, it's a very useful um, app. Yeah, okay, perfect. Let's continue with our third card. Mm, mm, mm. the number five all right number five and the question is what's your favorite food well my favorite food i think i already uh, answered that question also in that in the previous interview but i think that right now my favorite food are uh, the chinchulines <laughs> all right delicious <laughs> Tripa Mishki, if you know. <laughs> yes. Just because um, I I really want to 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 eat that. So, <laughs> just for for that for this time. All right. Change. Yes. Yeah. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> That's exquisite. All right. Perfect. Thank you, Candy. Let's continue with the fourth card. Okay. The four. The number eight. Number eight, and the question is, what's your favorite song? Ah, uh, well, my favorite song. I don't think, uh, well, I think I don't have a favorite song. This is, I, as I, I already said, I'm not a really a musical person. So I like music, but I, I, I don't think I have a favorite song. Uh, well, which song I'm I'm listening right now? Um, 
no, no, no. <laughs> that is a tough question for you. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a favorite. So. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I know that sometimes it's difficult to choose only one song. Yeah, so yeah, probably it's difficult for Kindy. All right, the last card, please. Mm, the number 11. Number 11. And the the question is, what's your favorite movie? <laughs> oh my god, no, well, my favorite movie, I have favorite movie and you have to, to see that. Uh, it is Billion Dollar Baby. You have to watch All that. Right. That's yeah. really, really that is good. A... Uh, Clint Eastwood is in that movie. So, you know. Yeah. I, if I am not movie. wrong, that was that was the movie that won an Academy Academy Award. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's a really really good movie. All right, perfect, very good. Thank you so much. All right, perfect. Okay, Candy. So now it's time for the next uh, section. All right, let's go on. Okay, so now, um, Candy, I have uh, three questions for you. Okay. All right, and the first question is, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Mm, well, in 10 years, mm, well, in 10 years, I'm, I'm going to be 33 years old. So, <laughs> uh, well, I see myself uh, working in, well, specifically in the food industry, because uh, I would like to pursue a master's degree in food science. So uh, I love that area of the of biology. Um, well, I consider that it has a great field of work. And yeah, I see myself uh, working in the food industry, maybe in Cerveceria Nacional. All I right. like it. Yes. <laughs> Okay, perfect. And of course, we're going to have a better product. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, perfect. Question number two. What country would you like to visit and why? Um, well, I would like to visit uh, China. Uh, I think they have a very, very interesting culture and gastronomy. Um, I would like to go and make a gastronomic tour in, in China and also visit the, the Great Wall. Yeah, it will be China. All right, definitely. Yeah, that is a really, really nice country. And the last question is, if you could make only three wishes, what would they be and why? Three wishes, okay. Uh, okay, at this point of my life, I think that my first, uh, which will be that the pandemic is over uh, or maybe that the bad uh, have never been eaten in China. Yeah, All right, that yeah. would be my, my first uh, wish. Uh, my second wish uh, is to finish my thesis project because uh, I, I have been struggling with the writing part. So uh, I, I have to, to, to finish that. Uh, and my third wish, it would be that um, maybe to win uh, a scholarship to, to study my, my master's degree in, in food science. All right, perfect. Well, and I am completely sure that you are going to do it because you are a very perseverant person and a very hardworking person. All right, very good. Thank you so much for your answers. Um, dear, um, dear Candy. So now, well, um, we are almost done. So now it's time to read all the messages that people sent us to our Facebook live chat. All right, here we go. All right, uh, Belen Matavai says, special greetings to my friend Candy. Thank you so much, uh, Belen, for watching Masterpiece Show. All right, let's continue. Okay, Anthony, Anthony Casagualpa in Tulcan. He says, hello, everybody, and good evening. Thank you so much, Anthony. We want to send a special greetings to all people who are watching this show in Tulcan. Thank you. Thank you so much for being part of Masterpiece Show. Fernando says, 
incredible interview and a really nice story. Keep on going, Candy. Thank you so much, Fernando, for watching Masterpiece Show. Well, Fernando sent you a really nice sticker, but here we can't see it during the live uh, program. So you can check it out, the comment sections section later, and then you, you can see the nice sticker. Amilcar Paukar sent you another nice sticker. Well, thank you so much, Amilcar. Another 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 person from Tulkan. Thank you so much. Patty Carwa sent you a nice sticker as well. Thank you so much, Patty, for watching Masterpiece Show. Melanie in Guayaquil, she says, congratulations. Thank you so much, Melanie, for watching Masterpiece Show. And Araceli says, all right, uh, good evening and blessings for uh, this wonderful lady. All right, thank you so much, Araceli, and thank you so much to all people who sent us these wonderful messages. Well, we really, really appreciate it. All right, and now um, I think it's time to, to read the names of the people who are watching uh, this show right now. All right, so here we go. All right, we want to send a special greetings to and people from Tulkan, thank you so much for watching Masterpiece Show. Special greetings to uh, Amilcar Paukar in Tulkan. Thank you so much, Amilcar, for watching Masterpiece Show and for your nice sticker. Special greetings to Ofelia Sanchez. Thank you so much, Ofelia, for watching Masterpiece Show. Michelle Guzman in Tulkan. Thank you so much, Michelle, for watching Masterpiece Show. Daniela Yanes, thank you so much, Danny, for watching Masterpiece Show. Another guard student, by the way. Um, special greetings to Anthony Casagualpa in Tulcan. Thank you so much, Anthony, for watching Masterpiece Show. And thank you so much for your message. Araceli Matabai, thank you so much, Araceli, for watching Masterpiece Show. Patty Carwa, thank you so much, Patty, for watching Masterpiece Show. Lenin Ordonez in Riobamba, thank you so much, Lenin, for watching Masterpiece Show. By the way, we want to send a special greetings to all people who are watching this show in that beautiful city, Riobamba. Thank you so much. We want to send a special greetings to uh, Sterly Paoli. Thank you so much, Sterly Paoli, for watching Masterpiece Show. Diego Nunez in Ibarra. Thank you so much, Diego, for watching Masterpiece Show. Stalin Lomas in Tulcan. Thank you so much, Stalin, for watching Masterpiece Show. Bane Guaspa, thank you so much, Bane, for watching Masterpiece Show. Carlota Matamoros, thank you so much, Carlota, for watching Masterpiece Show. Jonathan Rodriguez um, from Tulcan, thank you so much, Jonathan, for watching Masterpiece Show. Uh, Adrián Ortega, thank you so much, Adrián, for watching Masterpiece Show. Uh, our production assistant, Fernando, thank you so much, Fernando, for watching Masterpiece Show. Paul Andres, thank you so much, Paul. Belen Matabai, thank you, Pau, and uh, thank you, Belen, for watching Masterpiece Show and for your message. Jonathan Fernando, the fan number one of Masterpiece Show, and Melanie in Guayaquil. Thank you, thank you so much, guys, for being part of Masterpiece Show. Okay, so now, Candy, if you have a, a message to share with us, or if you want to send a special greetings to someone, now you can do it. Well, I just want to say thank you very much for uh, watching today's program. Uh, I hope you have an excellent, excellent weekend. Enjoy uh, this carnival holiday. Of course, take care of yourselves. Uh, the pandemic is not over yet. And uh, thank you uh, to Prof. Mauri. <laughs> thank you very, very much for the invitation. And thank you to uh, Andy Visa Productions for that uh, masterpiece. <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you so much, Candy, for for being here in our program and for sharing your inspirational story. We wish you all the best, and we hope to have you in our show uh, again very, very soon. Thank you, thank you so much, Candy. All right, so she is Candy Herrera, and definitely her profile is a masterpiece. Remember that on Saturday we will have our special program, so you are kindly invited to join us on Saturday at 2 o'clock. And remember that the coming week we will continue with our show uh, on Tuesday and Thursday at 8.30. Thank you so much for watching Masterpiece Show, and thank you so much for your kind messages. We will see you on Saturday. 
Thank you so much, Candy. Have, have a good uh, have a good night. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Mauri. Thank you so much.